Hi everyone, I'm Steve here with Nicole again. Thanks for being here, Nicole. Thank you for having me. So Nicole is a certified nutritionist and we'll talk about how you can get a hold of her if you um, want to find out more about what she does. So we're going to talk about processed meats. You specifically mentioned lunch meat. That's really good for you, right? <laughs> so, you know, we... This is probably the one time that you'll run into me. And if you have lunch meat in your cart is I will heavily judge you. <laughs> <laughs> um, lunch meat is probably one of the biggest things that I, it's so easy. It's so fast and we're feeding ourselves and our kids and everything with, but we're not taking a look at what is actually in lunch meat. All lunch meat is, is a processed meat. Sometimes they put several meats into one. Um, it's, it's actually disgusting. Um, they pack it full of seasonings and, in, and natural flavors to sometimes mask the scent of what, how badly processed those meats are and full of nitrates. Um, it is probably the one thing that I'm like, please stop eating lunch meats. It is full of carcinogenics, which is a huge indicator of cancer. So if you, you've got to start thinking and stop thinking about what's fast, think about what's good in your body. Processed meats are absolutely disgusting. You know, I do a lot of, um, little surveys and I'll say, which is better, you know, carnivore or vegan. And, and the vegans always, not always, but they bring up a good point. They go, uh, you carnivores, you better watch out for the processed meats. Yep. And they're right. Cause you know, uh, I like carnivore because there's one rule, eat meat, but maybe we need to add a rule. Don't eat processed meats, yes. you know? <laughs> and we, we talk about when we were kids, right? And let me just bring up something and tell me what you think about this. What, th when you're buying processed meats today, um, you're, what are you going to do with those processed meats? You're not just going to eat it, right? You're going to make it into a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so now you're probably putting that, those processed meats on bad bread yep. Absolutely. and putting bad condiments on that bad bread what do I mean by bad condiments? What's in those condiments? Oh my gosh, a ton of seed oils, a ton of seed oils and sugar. Like they're all filled with sugar because they, they hook you. Yeah. So I'm going to put some poison on my mm -hmm. processed meat. On my processed bread. Yeah. And, but you know what? We were eating healthy when we were kids. When we, when we ate something like that, had a nice sandwich, you know, we were eating healthy when we put yeah. mayonnaise and mustard on our, you know, bologna. Yeah. Well, just it was different. Compare, go back and compare the ingredients from then to now. There was two ingredients versus 10. There's a huge difference between those exact same things then and now. Yeah. So... You know, we do a lot of videos like this and it's like, what do you eat? That's true. It's true. You have to be very, you have to do your own research. You have to look at your labels. You have to look at your ingredients. There are things out there. You just have to look and you have to stop thinking about purely, I'm going to shovel my kids out the door. And I'm not that I am not a culprit of that. I'm not judging anyone for that, but you have to slow down, do some prepping. Instead of, you know, watching 30, 30 more minutes of The Voice, go and do 30 minutes of food prepping so that you do know what you're putting in your body so that we're not so sick. And I order our meat from little uh, farms that are all, you know, organic, you know, the beef. So I trust what I'm getting, right. you know. Um, exactly. because these are small farmers and they've networked together. Um, but most people can't afford to eat like that. Right. You know, we were talking about a video where I went and bought some fruit, you know, and to get the right kind of fruit, you're walking out of there 40 bucks. Yep. It's going to last you a day. 
and um, you know to order or have special delivered the right kind of meat which you can do it it's not affordable for a lot of people right it's sadly it's not but there's things that can be done like you can you know you can put your I do this with my fruits because I'm the same exact way. I put my fruits in a mason jar, put a little baking soda in them, make sure I'm washing them as they sit, and it take it preserves them longer naturally in the fridge so that you can make this little tiny flat of blackberries last four or five days rather than two days. So if you just do a little bit of research, you can make that expensiveness last you longer. And I, you know, you can freeze those berries and make and keep them for a smoothie, that kind of thing. So that there's ways to go around this so that we can actually beat this kind of inflation system and help ourselves and stay healthy. Yeah. Okay, Nicole. So if people want to get a hold of you and find out more about what you do, what your programs are, and you will give them a hundred dollars off if you mention that they saw this video. So how do they get a hold of you or follow you on social media also? You can reach me at the gut girl one at gmail.com or you can find me on any social media platform at the gut girl NV. Okay, Nicole, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me.